because I believe you're just one piece of content away, you're one video away to unlocking your full potential. And at Sales Remastered, my goal is to show you sales in a whole new different light. So, so you're not looking at sales as a grind, you're not looking at sales as a risk, you're looking at sales for what it is and it is a bridge, it is a staircase to get you to exactly where you wanna go. You know, there's this statistic that I heard not too long ago that says most New Year's resolutions are dead by the 21st of the month. And the 21st of the month was not, it was only a couple of days ago. And so I bring this up because I want, I want to get real personal with you and I want to, you know, kind of get an idea of where your mindset is. And these, these New Year's resolutions could have been everything from maybe you wanted to have a dry January. Like dry January means that maybe for, for the first month of the year you didn't want to have any alcoholic beverages. Or maybe it could have been to start a diet, you know. Um, I know I did. Or maybe start going to the gym or maybe start reading a book or start feeding your brain with helpful information. And so where I'm getting at is I want to get an idea of where you are mentally. I want to be able to understand how you view your New Year's resolution and help you avoid going into the rest of the year for the rest of the other 11 months without this monkey on your shoulder because you didn't start the year off right with a win. And, and I want us to look at the way we set our goals whether it's a New Year's resolution or even a monthly production goal and kind of remaster the way you look at achieving those goals that you set out for. Now, yesterday at about 12 p.m., I scheduled a, a, a premiere video and it, had, and it had to do with how to achieve any goal you set out in 2019. And if I remember, I'll leave a link below, but if not, go take a gander at the profile. It's, uh, it's on YouTube or Facebook and it's at Sales Remastered is the handle. So if you don't have me on your stream, by the way, boo boo, you gotta hit that like button, you gotta hit that subscription button, you gotta hit that bell because I need to keep you informed. I need to keep, I need to be the first piece of content that you get in the morning, typically on your way to work. And when I am able to spend a few minutes with you, I want you to understand that the likelihood of you achieving the goals that you set out for is gonna be even higher because I become more like your virtual mentor, kinda of like a coach. And I share these little random tidbits with you because my primary goal is to teach you and show you that the industry that you're in, sales, is just an awesome opportunity to have because sales, unlike any other profession, it's, uh, it, you know, you get you get what you what you put in, right? Like you get what you give. And it goes so much deeper than energy. That is that cliche saying, right? Like you, you're only gonna get back as much as you put in, right? Like what I'm talking about is on all levels, like you get back what you give. And so if you want reciprocity, if you want engagement, if you want, you know, um, how can I put it? If you want compliance, well then you gotta give compliance, right? Like if you want success, you gotta give success. And, and where I'm getting at is because I see too often times individuals who will talk about what they want, who kind of just always put it out there in the universe to say, man, I'm, I'm going to be number one. I'm going to be successful. But then they don't give the actions that enable them to become successful. And so, you, so what I believe is that in order to achieve anything that you set your little heart out to, to achieve, whatever you desire, is that you have to engulf yourself in in kind of the energy or the model of what that particular thing is and so if your primary objective is to become successful you want to be a professional if you want to run along the top with the most acknowledge in the, in the in the industry that you're in or the office that you're in then you need to model their actions and modify it to your capabilities your process right and so you might be like, well, D, how do I do that? How you do that is, is even in your own scenery, like you have a few uh, uh, potential mentors that you don't necessarily need to ask them for a favor. You don't need to go directly to them. I know it's kind of weird to be like, hey, bro, can you mentor me? <laughs> 
And sometimes we feel kind of embarrassed to go up to somebody and say, hey man, can, can I spend a few days with you or can I spend an hour with you? Because typically those who are making moves or those successful ones are the ones with the most limited time. And so not only is it intimidating to ask the number one person on the floor to help you and do it for free, but it also becomes awkward if you, if you kind of stalk them. And so I wanna share with you a couple ways that is gonna open your eyes of how you can actually still be mentored, still be coached, still learn from those individuals, mirror their actions, model their process, and then modify it to make your own similar results. And so if you're in a sales environment and, and if you set out a goal, right, because this is what the theme is, is like we have goals, every month we have goals. If you're in sales, you need to set goals. The goals, 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 right? And I think that if you don't have a goal and you're kind of just going about it, about your day is like, ah, whatever happens, happens. You're in the wrong industry. <laughs> you're not taking advantage of the opportunity that this game comes with. Instead, you're kind of you're kind of setting yourself up for failure because without goals, without mentoring, without the right vision, without the deep, deep desire, without the hustle, the enthusiasm, without being able and willing to do what you got to do so that you could do whatever you want to do you're only going to meet resistance in this field and if you're not passionate about generating a specific result that that is going to lure you to do things that you wouldn't normally do if you had a choice right so it, it's like waking up early like I wouldn't normally wake up early if I didn't have to go to the gym if I if I if I didn't have to do certain projects whether for work or for the brand there's a lot of alternative options that we are going to face and I think it's important to understand that if we're if we want a specific result we got to be able to step up to the plate and understand that there will be times where that alternative is going to stare us in the face and it's going to be tempting us to sleep in is gonna be tempting us to just go slow. Is gonna be tempting us to settle. And why I believe goals die around the third week of the year after starting them is because people f will, will allow themselves to fail because they've settled. They've, they've kind of justified the settlement. They've accepted something lesser as opposed to get creative and figure out an alternative route right so so like imagine this when you're driving into work and there's a roadblock on this major street right for whatever reason there's a roadblock you have a choice you have a choice like you could sit there in line or find a shortcut to get around it right for those of you who are patient or maybe you don't have you know what i mean like you <laughs> you're not necessarily eager beaver or to get into the office like you're like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and relax i'm gonna go ahead and sit here in line i'm not that way i don't know if you are that way like man i'm trying to find a shortcut i need to get to my destination fast and maybe that's just a characteristic that we need to adopt is that you got to make moves you got to keep moving forward you know if you're going to sit there in traffic like let so be it but at the end of the day do something while you're sitting there in traffic. Maybe bump sales remastered through your speakers and feed your brain, boo-boo. But going back to the topic at hand, where I'm getting at is that there will be times where you're gonna be tempted to not go as hard or gonna be tempted to maybe take a break, right? I'm, I'm no different, boo-boo. Like the last six weeks of last year, I took a break from hustling hard. I took a break from waking up every, you know, at four in the morning. I took a break from my morning ritual. And now I'm feeling it. And there are times where, where you know, even the best of us will kind of get to our lowest states. And, you know, like, for example, I personally, you know, for, since for this entire week, today's Wednesday, for this entire week, I haven't scored one lock. I haven't scored one um, elevation. I haven't put any production up, you know, and, and, and I, can, I can look at it with anger or I can look at it with motivation. Motivation meaning that, man, watch. I gotta I got make up for the last couple of days. Or motivation of like, man, I'm better than this. I shouldn't be going any days without scoring any points. And for those of you who understand like points, do you play basketball, bro? What are you doing? Points I'm talking about is every single day I got a point system. I hold myself accountable to this point system. And it's every single day. I wanna underline every day. Because you might have a point system, but you base it on the month 
And so your point system would be like 10 fundings. And so your only idea of points is basically 10 points. Make sense? So every single day I have a point system. My points are lock loans and elevated loans. So every single day, no matter what happens, I need to find two points. I need to find two lock loans or two submitted loans into processing. Now your process might be a little bit different, but you can kind of get the gist of where I'm getting at. In other words, every single day I'm gonna make moves, I'm gonna make results. And if you don't have a system in place that holds you accountable to make the results, then what are you doing? Are you just riding it out? Are you that thermometer or are you the thermostat? Because if you hold yourself accountable per day, you become a thermostat, meaning you're gonna take the resources, you're gonna take the tools, no matter what the market is, you know, you're just gonna make it happen. You're gonna bring the heat, you're gonna change the climate, you're gonna put things in your favor because you're gonna understand that everything really is your choice and is under your control. You see, I think the reason why we usually choose the alternative and give in to temptation is because it's easier, right? It gives us the kind of the okay, right? Almost like, ah, I got a headache today. I guess it's okay to call in sick. Like when, when you know damn well deep down inside what you want to do is Netflix and chill. What you want to do is maybe pack a couple more bowls. What you want to do is maybe just hang out. But you have to understand that with that alternative option, if you decide to go that direction, is it helping you get closer to your bigger goal? Because once you get over that Netflix and chill, and once you get over that just hang out or whatever to kind of be lazy for that day, know that you have to answer to it. And again, I'm no different. I go through it also. So during the last six weeks of, of 2018, as I was chilling and kind of, you know, taking a break from my hustle and bustle, you know, I had a lot of things going on, but I was already expecting it. I knew that as I was going into the year, I was going to hold myself accountable. So I want to help you get there too. I want to help you get to a position where you're confident that no matter how low you get or no matter where you are right now, that you can choose to raise your game, to choose to, to be willing enough to do the research on, on how to get to where you want to go. But understand that, that the reason why most um, goals die about three weeks into the year is because it's by choice. And don't let any statistic be what rules you because again, that's the mindset of a thermometer. You want to, you want to have the mindset of a thermostat. You want to be able to change the climate. You want to change the results. You want to be in control over your destination. And I think that's why I love sales is because, you know, no, I've never been capped <laughs> on sales. No, no one's ever said, hey, Danny, you can't make that much money, bro. S slow down. That's what I love about it. Whereas if I was a W-2 employee, if I worked in operations, I can only make so much, right? Like they'll only allow you to work so much overtime. They'll only allow you to make so much per hour. But now I'm in sales, I can make up to a couple grand per hour, right? Like this is, this is the gift of being in sales. This is the, the opportunity that we sometimes overlook because we're caught up in the in the kind of the, the, the micro process, like the just the next hour, the next couple hours, or just the next day or the next month. And, and if we're not necessarily looking at it as a whole, and that's okay, it took me a long time to adopt that habit, but when I started looking at things as a whole and understood that every action created a chain reaction, like, uh, uh, you know, everything that I did today is going to be addressed and exposed by the end of the month, right? So we set out goals. Maybe you give your goal, you give your commitment for for the month to your manager or to your team or you know to somebody, to yourself. And you set out this goal like, hey man, I'm gonna do 20 funded units this month. I'm gonna do 10 funded units this month. And you're, you're hyphy, right? Like you're, you're hyped about it at the beginning of the month. And then one bad day happens, and then what happens? The emotion gets over, gets control of you, right? You're like, man, fuck that goal. I don't even want that goal. I don't need that goal. I'm straight. Maybe you set a goal for like 10, and you know, about three weeks in, you're at seven, and you now are at a crossroads where you're either gonna justify whether or not you're gonna get that last three, or you're gonna be happy with what you got. And the real champions of this game are never gonna feel comfortable 
right? That's the bad part about being a champion is because you're always going to demand more from yourself. But I promise you with that mentality, you know, you not letting yourself get comfortable is because you, you can't sit still. Stagnancy is hazardous in sales. If you ever find yourself stagnant, you better hop on Sales Remastered, boo-boo, and get yourself some content to feed your brain. Because there are people out there making moves. There are people thinking far, farther past, further past the next month, the next year. There are people making moves right now for the side effects that they'll soon receive in the next five, 10 years, right? Like people are building brands right now because they see the bigger picture. They're not getting impatient. And I think that's the primary reason why a lot of goals die three weeks into the year is because of impatience. Not only settlement, but just impatience. Maybe you started going to the gym, you don't see the results after three weeks and you're like, man, fuck it. I hate waking up. It's cold in the morning. <laughs> like it's okay, right? This is this is what we think. This is what we experience. And I want you to to kind of be self-aware and understand that that those are the key reasons as to why most will fail. But instead of look at it and say, okay, well, most that happens to most, so I guess it's okay. It happens to me. Not nah, that that what you need to look at is say, yeah, that happens to most. But I'm not like most, bro. I'm not like that that big group of people. I'm different. I'm, you know what I mean? Like I'm me. I'm gonna get mine because I'm not gonna allow these statistics or these, you know, these outside resources or, or results from the general public to be my result, to be my answer, right? Like I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna march to my own drum. And if you can keep yourself in that type of focus and look at things in that way, you are going to have a stronger chance to hit your goals and make sure it keeps going. So my takeaway here is that if you walked into the new year, or if you go into the month and you're three weeks in and your goal, your commitment just seems far away, right? Or it seems like you're just not getting there. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to ease off and revisit the goal. Don't take it as settlement as if as if that's done because if you're starting your year off that way you're setting up the expectation and the precedence for the remainder of the year so at the very beginning if you're okay to settle at the beginning of the year what do you think you're going to do the remainder of the year instead challenge yourself and hold yourself accountable to actually want to push yourself to get further right so even if you set a goal let's just say for 10 and three weeks in you're at three now, majority of the population is going to look at it, okay, well, there's always next month and kind of just ride the rest out, right? Kind of be upset because they're so far from their goal. Mind you, that's by choice. Even the best of us will find ourselves in that state. But what differentiates and what separates the best from the mediocre is the mediocre will settle, justify their settlement and coast for the rest of the month and procrastinate the actions that are needed to get that goal some other time. And that procrastination is bad for you, boo boo. Like that procrastination is gonna make sure that that never even happens. Now the best though, the best are gonna look at it as a challenge. So they're gonna take, they're gonna take the remaining days of that month, and they're going to orchestrate and figure out the science of how to achieve the remainder of their goal. So if they got three of seven or three of ten, then they know they need seven. And then let's just say there's seven days left in the month. Then they're gonna, they're going to be very effective effective and efficient with the use of creativity for those seven days to make sure they score at least one per day now here's the here's the bonus is the real creative ones are going to hold themselves liable for scoring two deals a day because they're looking for that buffer they're realistic while at the same time they're passionate and so if they only got seven days to get seven more units they're not going to pay mind to the past they're not going to pay attention to the fact that it took them three weeks to get three units. They're going to challenge themselves, analyze, and assess why they are at such, such a low level and where have they been spending their time and what are they doing on a daily basis that they need to switch up. Maybe they're recording their own conversations now. right? We all have the capability to record our phone calls. Your CRM or your phone should be able to do that. If not, there's software on your cell phone or there's some sort of capability where you can record your conversation and the reason why you want to do it is because we are our worst critic we are we have this opportunity where we can use the technology and the tools and the resources right now to help us improve we can record our conversations listen back to our conversations and nitpick it and say oh that's why I'm losing these deals or oh, that's why they want to think about it oh that's why 
they're not sold yet. It's because I keep doing this or it's because I sound like this or it's because A, B, and C. And if you have that opportunity to make that quick fix, make that quick adjustment, turn, turn the path back in your favor, then I think that you will not only become stronger for the rest of the year, but you're gonna position yourself to dominate every other goal that you set for the remainder of the year and the year after and the year after and the year after. You see how that works? But it would not happen if you settled and just said, uh, mm, well, I guess there's always next month. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed this video. I know I did a quick rant because it's, it's, it's relevant. Right now, there are people, there are some of us, right? Even, it may be you, it may, it, shit, it could be me next month. I could be at a point where I'm just like, man, fuck this, right? Like, I'll just make another video in a month. <laughs> I'll just, you know what? I'll just go and dominate this game next year, but I had a good run. You see, we're always gonna have that temptation and those, those, those alternatives. And I hope that by following At Sales Remastered on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, that you have now the, the virtual mentoring that you need to keep yourself on track so you can win for yourself, for your family, and for your future. So if this is your first time catching any content sales remastered, comment below. Let me know what your favorite part was. Hit the subscription button. Hit that bell so you're notified of the future content. If you're on Facebook, then you're going to want to be sure to like the actual page, the uh, sales remastered page, so that you add me to your stream. Because I believe you're just one piece of content away. You're one video away to unlocking your full potential. And at Sales Remastered, my goal is to show you sales in a whole new different light. So, so you're not looking at sales as a grind. You're not looking at sales as a risk. You're looking at sales for what it is, and it is a bridge. It is a staircase to get you to exactly where you want to go. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.